In this training video, I'm going to show you how you can put a background image on a report such as we have in that order stock sample report that's provided with the GRW distribution. In this video, I'm going to take you through the process of creating a new report and on that new report uh, having a background image such as a form that you can use and then later you can uh, position the fields onto that form. So how do we create this report and how do we get that background image onto this report? We're going to go ahead and start with File New. Uh, we need a new report, so I'm going to select Reports and I'm going to select Empty Reports. This opens up an empty report for us to, to start working with. Next thing I want to do is I want to bring over the data view. So I'm going to bring over the RDD that I need. Let me click Open Schema File. And then from Open Schema File, I'm going to navigate to my RDD. So I'm going to use the one that's included in our Report Writer distribution. Go to Four Days for all the sample reports. Genero Studio, GST, Samples, Reports, and Order Report. And there's my orderreport.rdd file. So if I open it up, you can see it brings over the uh, all the fields that I'm going to later probably place in the form or place on the report as I build it. But over in my structure view, you can see that it's put in my, my points there that I can use for breaks. So the next thing I want to do is um, for this, for the report, the order stock dot for RP report, we want to have a separate page for every row. So I'm going to go ahead and take my largest group, and I'm going to move it underneath the page root element. And now I'm ready to start building the, or to put a uh, layout node underneath my on every row. So on every row, this layout node is printed, and inside of that layout node, I'm going to put that, uh, an image box that's going to hold my template image. So my next task to do is to go to the toolbox. I want to grab a vertical box layout node, and I'm going to drag that, and I'm going to stick it on underneath on every row. Now, with this layout node, uh, to change it so it looks like that order stocked up for RD sample, I'm going to change this to say main layout. And then if I go down my list, on my X and Y size, I don't want it to be stuck in the corner. I want it to be the max and max of the page. So I'm going to go ahead and set it to max and max. And then my anchor X and my anchor Y, um, they should be zero. So I'm just going to make sure that they're uh, both zero. And they're both zero. So that's good. So I have my main layout node up there. Uh, as you can see here, basically, it's expanded that layout node. So it's the entire size of my page that I'm working with. So my next thing to do then is to go and I want to put an image box underneath this main layout node. I take my image box and I place it under the main layout node. My image box is there. We're going to call this, again, in keeping with the order stock.4rd, we're going to call this a template image. Let me go down. Now for my x, I want it to be equal to max equal to 2. So let me press my little function. I want it to be max equal to 2. We can see that that's an OK expression. Under my Y is going to be zero. Now my X size and Y size are going to be the size of my image here. So I know they're 10 centimeters. Oops, sorry. And I know it's uh, 13 centimeters. My anchor X is going to be at 0 0.5, so I want it to be anchored in the middle of the form. And if you can see over here, so it's going to, it's placing that anchor point in the middle. My anchor Y is 0, I want it to be on the top axis. And the rest, I believe the defaults should, uh, the defaults are almost good. If I go underneath layout, instead of the floating flavor being enclosed, I want to change that to be free. Then if I continue going uh, through this, there's the image itself. So I've had the image box put here. 
Uh, if I want to substitute with the actual image itself, my next step is to uh, put the path to that image. So I find my location. I know that my image is locate my image. And there's my image. It's on the form. So if I can uh, get this a little smaller, you can see that uh, I now have my report out there and I now have that image out there on the report. And at this point, you can go and use the other training videos to follow through and build and lay out your actual data fields, your data views onto the specific uh, fields that are displayed on this image.